Hello and welcome to this updated video guide for completing the Naval Hard in Final Fantasy XIV Shadowbringers. My name is DSDS and in this video you'll learn everything you need to know to play Bomberman. You've done Titan Normal, so a lot of this will be familiar, but let's take a look. At the start, pull the boss and turn him away. If you're the off tank, you're basically just a DPS here. As in normal, Titan's attacks always follow a set pattern, but again I'm just going to explain each of the mechanics and leave it up to you to deal with them, mostly because trying to learn the pattern is an absolute waste of time. So, as in normal, Landslide returns. This is the line AoE aimed at random non-tanks. If you get hit by this, you'll get sent off the arena to your death, so avoid this at all costs. Tumult also makes an appearance now and then. This is where Titan stomps the ground, dealing low AoE damage to the group, but this one's fairly ignorable. Now then, it wouldn't be Titan if he didn't break the floor. As you may remember, Titan will jump up into the air and a ring will appear around the edges of the arena. When Titan lands using Geo Crush, everything on the outside of the ring will be destroyed, so make sure this isn't you. You'll take more damage from Geo Crush the closer you are to the middle of the arena, so for this one, just hug the inside edges of the ring. You'll see this move three times over the encounter, so at the end you'll have a rather small space to fight in. Next up is Weight of the Land. These are the AoE circles that appear under random players. As the fight goes on, more players will get targeted by this. It can also target the main tank if enough people are dead. In addition, the attack goes off very quickly, so you must move ASAP. However, due to the limited floor space, it may be tricky to avoid these entirely. As you're all so close together, many of these can overlap, so if you can't avoid them all, just avoid eating more than one at a time. After this, we have the Jails again. Look out for the yellow clock-like graphic underneath targeted players, and then destroy the Jails that trap them pronto. Healers should pay attention here, because Jails will leave the target with a damage down debuff that you should remove. The last familiar mechanic is Titan exposing his heart at around 55%. Just attack and destroy it. Afterwards, Titan will attempt to wipe you, but as long as you broke his heart, he won't have it in him. And now we come to Titan's bombs. This is what kills most players here, so welcome, boys and girls, to Learning with Tom. That's me! In today's episode, we're going to learn how to not die. At times, Titan will drop rock bombs onto the arena. These will blow up eventually and put people down for the long sleep. In this difficulty, you can see three different patterns, so let's dive in. Pattern 1 is when Titan drops 8 bombs in a circle around the edges of the room with a ninth bomb in the middle. These bombs come down one by one, and like all of these bombs, they explode in the order they appear in. The best way to avoid this is to watch where the bombs are appearing, and stand on the last bomb that appears around the edges. This will be right next to the first bomb that appeared. Wait for the first bomb to explode, and then move to where it was. The trick here is to not panic once you notice that some bombs have appeared. All you need to care about is identifying where that last edge bomb is going to drop. So let's see this in motion. I can see the bombs are coming in. I identify where the last edge bomb will be and stand on it. Once the first bomb explodes, I move over and wait for the middle bomb to go off before returning to the boss. Easy! On to pattern number two. Here, three sets of three bombs will appear. First will be a line across the middle, then a line on one side, and finally a line on the other side. The best way to avoid this is to move on to the third line that appears, wait for the middle row to explode, and then move into the middle. So let's see this one in action. The bombs come down, and I move to the final row. Middle bombs explode, and I move back to the middle. Easy. Finally, pattern number three. This is the rarest pattern, as I've only seen it a couple of times. Here, five bombs will drop in the middle, followed by four bombs at the edges, forming an X shape. This is the easiest one to avoid, because you can just stand in the gaps between the outer bombs. Now let's see this one for real. Bombs appear in the middle, but I'm hard casting rays because everyone keeps dying. Once I'm free, I move to the side. <laughs> also rip that guy. And those are Titan's bombs. 
And they're not deadly on their own, but when everyone is taking damage constantly and panic at the sight of them, they do tend to cause most of the deaths. Now, I'm aware that sounds pretty fucking yikes for you healers, but it's not that bad. Well, it, it, it's, it's pretty bad, actually. Folks are gonna die. At a minimum, at least two people died in every single run I did here. I did this six times for the video. In one, in one heal attempt, I did seven raises. If you could top that, I'll send you a bubble chocolate for your pain. And that's Titan Hard. If you've enjoyed the guide, then let me know. And if there are any other guides or perspectives you'd like to see, then check out my channel or feel free to ask me to create one. Thank you for watching and good fucking luck.